Okay, thank you very much. Well, they represent $200 billion in buying power. Are they the most powerful generation? Jason Dorsey joins us now, founder of the Center for Generational Kinetics, uh, along, of course, with Julia. Uh, Jason, the, the demographics here are pretty impressive. I guess any parent would uh, would know, or, or aunt or uncle would know, kids <laughs> do wage all the power. But uh, I, I thought it was interesting in a day when we were talking about how no one's getting a raise in this country, that allowances <laughs> have more than doubled in the past couple of years. Yeah, they've doubled since 2009. I mean, talk about a recession-proof demographic. In fact, this is going to get your attention. That generation, that, that little segment, segment of tweens makes 3,000 product and service requests a year. 3,000. And I know a lot of people watching have said yes to those. 3,000. That's why Disney, Viacom, everybody's all into this demographic. And we're seeing a huge surge from the advertisers. I mean, toy makers spend a huge amount, amount of money. Advertisers promoting movies that appeal to this demographic spend a huge amount of money. And then if you look at Disney, what they've done. Now, the Disney Channel itself does not actually run ads, but mm -hmm. they use it as this engine to fuel not only the film business, but also the theme parks and consumer products. A kid sees a brand they like on the Disney Channel, they're going to make their parent go out and buy them the stuffed animal from the show. <laughs> Jason, has it changed at all? I mean, I remember when we were all little, I don't mean, I don't, I, I, we're all around the same age, but, uh -huh. you know, watching the comics on Saturday morning and you'd see an ad for like My Little Pony or something like that, and of course you'd want it. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it different now? I mean, in terms of either what kids want or are they spending significantly more? Or is this just sort of, just depends on the generation in terms of the product, but fundamentally it's the same. Yeah, actually it's completely different the experience they're going through. I mean, think about it. If I'm seven years old, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I am being advertised both directly by, you know, Disney and you can think of any brand. But think about when I open up the iPad to play Angry Birds. My parents bought me that iPad so I would be quiet and entertain myself. I'm being inundated with ads. I go on Facebook which is the social status. Even though I'm not supposed to be there because I'm 10 years old, I'm still on there. I figured out a way. And what can I do? I can see what my friends just bought because they posted it and told everybody. We are constantly being bombarded. And, it's not just comics or Saturday morning. It is nonstop. And Aaron, it's not just about the commercial breaks anymore. Mm -hmm. The content themselves, the content itself is an ad. You know, if we have to look at uh, Hasbro, the toy maker has partnered with Discovery to have its own TV channel devoted to those brands. So every one of those shows is leading kids to think, okay, maybe I want a Transformers toy. Mm -hmm. What yeah. happened to books, Jason? I'm sorry? What happened to books, you know? Uh, uh, what are those? turn the pages. <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar with books, even though I write them. I've never read them. No, <laughs> this demographic isn't into books. I know publishers hate, my publishers hate me saying that, but they don't, they're not into it. They don't want one. They're heavy. They're not cool. They're not moving. They're not loud. They're not flashy. I mean, what's happened to this little demographic we're talking about is they are hyper trend aware. I mean, when silly bands went out into the world, they found out about it before anybody, even before the retailers. That's how super right. connected they are to purchasing right now, and they purchase in droves. And parents today are busier than ever, so they're buying their way into the hearts of their kids. I know that's tough. I'm a parent. It's, it hurts. It's absolutely true. It may sound terrible, but the truth is, as history shows, usually even though people lament the loss of the next generation, they turn out just fine. <laughs> Jason, Julia, <laughs> thanks to both of you.